how to get rid of all those little scratches uh, on your paintwork. Catch you inside. Revelator L. Hello, welcome to Revelator Alpha. Hope you enjoy the channel and the series of videos. Please like, share, subscribe, leave those comments below. Check out the website revelatoralpha.com. Click the bell next to the subscribe button for all future videos. So in this video, I'm talking about uh, your paintwork on your bike and you've got tiny little scratches uh, all over it from a previous cleaning, no doubt. Little bits of grit had got caught in your cloth or whatever it is. You wiped it over and it's caused uh, some some scratching how are you going to do it well i've been looking at various ways and uh, now obviously you need to get a good clean of uh, it itself uh, and then you need to find some kind of product that's going to try and either mask it uh, or it's going to uh, get rid of the scratches uh, totally now as i understand it if you've got any kind of surface where you run your nail across the surface and it actually gets caught on a scratch then these general scratch repairers or these tea cuts uh, here, uh, they won't really cut the mustard. They may kind of add a bit of dye in there to hide it, but you know you may need to do some sanding and some filling work on there. Um, so obviously that's a whole nother thing, but I'm just talking about general scratch repair. So look, there are lots of products on the market. I'm not, and I've got a couple of products here. I'm not really going to, this is not promoting any product in per se. Uh, this one, G3, it's a professional scratch uh, uh, remover. I actually just got this uh, yesterday. I've never used it before, so I thought I'd try it. Tea cut uh, color black, that's what I've got. Uh, I've used quite a lot. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but it removes scratches, shines, paintwork. So, you know, that's uh, another good thing. And then I just uh, top coat that with a uh, good wax afterwards. Anyway, uh, I thought I'd do a little kind of demonstration and see how it, how it worked. So uh, anyway, what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to try and clean this up, first of all. And uh, then I'm going to try and uh, do a bit of tea cut in one area um, with one of these little sort of pad things here. There we go. Uh, wax on, wax off type, type deal. Uh, and then we're going to, well, see if it works. All right. Right, it's wiped clean, uh, but still lots of scratches on it. So uh, let's see if I can make it look better. Well, uh, certainly getting there, it's uh, starting to remove a few of the hairline scratches. Uh, you can see there's definite a difference between that side, that side and the middle bit where I've just done it there. So I think you just got to keep on going. Well, you know, what do you think? I mean, what do you think of these scratch removers? Do you think they're any good? Uh, or do you really need to have the whole thing resprayed uh, by somebody? Uh, look, I'm, I'm in two minds, really, which is the best way to go. Um, but I think these minor scratches, this stuff does work. It's not a miracle cure, I think, but it kind of uh, lessens it down a little bit. But you need to really work it in there and see how it goes. So I'm, I'm just going to keep on working on this. And, uh, well... I'll see you in a bit. I've got to say, it's actually not bad at all. I think what I need to do is just give this a really good polish up now. And most of the scratches have certainly diminished. I wouldn't say they're totally gone, but diminished. Right, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to put some of this other stuff on here as well. And then I'm going to give it uh, a uh, bit of a top coat of uh, wax. See how that works. Let this dry off. There we go. Uh, not bad at all, actually. I mean, in the in the sunlight. Yeah, definitely the scratches have been removed. I think if you just keep on applying this stuff um, and keep on getting your bike waxed up, I think it'd be it'd look okay. Let me just give it a quick wax up with this. Any old wax will do, I'm sure. There we go. Not too bad at all. Yeah, if you look really closely, as I say, there's still the minor scratches there. But keep on with this process. I think it actually does work. Yeah, 
Not bad, not bad at all. There we go. Uh, well, look, let us know about your uh, preferences and which uh, products you use to get these little minor scratches out and which is the best for you. Uh, I say, I'm, I'm not promoting any particular product here. I'm just kind of uh, just following the guidelines of the individual product um, and see if it works. Let me see if it works for you. But say, let us know in the comments how you do it and which product you find has been the best one. Uh, do you have any household product um, that works just as uh, well that's a, that's a good one if you know of any sort of sneaky little hacks let us know in the comments below right anyway uh, catch you on the next video whatever that is I'm going to carry on with the with the other one uh, uh, and uh, let me see the difference here I don't know maybe you won't pick it up on the camera but this is one it's clean but it's still got lots of scratches on this one is obviously polished up now there we go maybe you can't see it so much but there is a difference there. Well, in my naked eye, there is anyway. Right. Uh, anyway, catch you on the next video whenever that is. Let's see. And uh, click that bell next to the subscribe button and all that kind of jazz. You know what to do. Check out the website, revelatoralf.com, the Harley Parley page. That's where all the Harley uh, info is, Harley Davidson info is. And just check out the rest of the website. There's lots of good info there. Right. Catch you again. Ta da. Revelator Al.